well. Hello everybody. So today you can see I have my knife here and below it is a sheath that I made out of pine. So these are pine shims. I've had this knife for about 20 years with no cover. I don't know why, but it occurred to me the other day, hey, I need a sheath. So I took a shim, which is, this is a cedar shim, but you can use any type of shim. So I looked at the shim and I thought that's the perfect thickness to put a knife into. But then I thought, how am I going to get the knife in there? So what I thought to myself was I could use two of them. So if I trace the outline of the knife like this. So sure enough, I just quickly, and I'm doing this very quickly, if you get the idea. So I traced it. Yeah. So you get the idea, I traced it. I don't know why I'm using this thing. Okay, so there it is. That's the traced part. So what I did then was did that on the uh, second piece, just the opposite, and then put them together. Because if you see on this finished piece here how it's angled, that's because there's two that are glued together, two shims. So then you can see that angle there. So, okay, so now you have both pieces traced out and you have to whittle out the inside so that the knife is inset into both pieces. So I just kept going back and forth with a chisel. You could use a Dremel or something, but the idea is to get it so that it's flush. So once you have it flush and you keep going back and forth, you put the two pieces together. So I glued it and clamped it for, I don't know, maybe two, three hours. Then I started to shape the outside because it was a square or a rectangle. So since you've traced the shape of the knife, it won't go in except for one way. So what I did was I shaped the outside to, sh to be in the similar shape of the knife itself. Now what I'm showing here is how I attached the leather strap. So what I did was there's a tiny little washer underneath the leather strap and then there's a nail on the top. You don't need the washer, but I used it because I was trying to get it to actually have a little bit of play or what I was trying to do is give the leather the, the ability to basically pivot, but uh, I wasn't careful enough with the glue. So you can see here there's two nails on both sides and two washers underneath. I cut the nails to make sure that they didn't hit each other when I put them in. And then I just used some old, well, it was just leather from a boot of honeybee. At any rate, so when I put them together, glued it up, and the piece, as you can see, is on a slight angle, but it's good enough. Um, if I ever do it again, I'm never going to use pine because you can see right here there's like dings and so forth already. I'm going to use a harder wood. But overall, I think it turned out pretty nicely. One of the things that you have to watch when you're shaping the outside is that if you sand too much, like right here, I actually sanded too much and shaped it too much and ran into where I had... Uh, created the interior void for the knife so but I used wood putty and it turned out pretty well but this can be avoided if you know exactly where your call it, inside cutting is and so forth but overall like I said I think it's pretty good I sanded it down to 320 um, started with like I guess 150 and then to finish it off I used this Verathane wood stain which is a uh, very nice product. I liked it. I think I did two or three coats. Sanding in between. And then I used this crystal clear enamel from must which is a great product. What I do is I have a spray station. And it's basically a box on its side. And what you can do is hang things. I'm just showing you here. I can show you the box at some other time. So then you could just give it a couple coats. This uh, rust -Oleum will dry, I believe, in like 15 minutes. So you can just put on a nice light coat, let it dry, another light coat, let it dry, so forth and so on. I did about four or five coats. If you can see here, a nice sheen. Now all this is done with, uh, I just sanded that and whittled it down. Kept sanding it, I have a bevel there. You can kind of make that out. Um, it all, it, it works very nicely, so. So again, the whole object here is just to create a sheath uh, to protect the knife itself and the people around it. And it turned out very nicely. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you're going to try this yourselves, I wish you the best of luck. Take care.